Welcome to the FM8 Quick Start Tour. This tutorial offers some easy to follow first steps that will help get you started with FM8. The FM8 picks up where its award winning predecessor, the FM7, left off and takes FM synthesis even further. FM8's emphasis on ease of use brings a high degree of simplicity to the otherwise intricate process of FM synthesis. The large number of improvements, like the Morph Square, the versatile arpeggiator, the new high-quality effects, and the Core Sound Browser will all be explained in more detail later on in this tutorial. After installing FM8 and starting the application for the first time in standalone mode, a dialog box appears, prompting you to adjust the audio and MIDI settings. First, choose your interface type. Then, select the desired sample rate and output device. Finally, click on Routing to choose your desired in and outputs. When you click on the MIDI tab, you'll see a list of MIDI ins and outs. You can toggle between on and off by clicking on the interface. Finally, click on OK to apply your changes. Native Instrument software is constantly being improved. For optimal performance, make sure that you always use the latest version. You can easily check for free updates with the service center that installs simultaneously with the software or directly on the Native Instruments website. The new design of the FM8 interface improves on the FM7 with a fresh look and a host of usability enhancements. The panel is divided into four areas. On top is the application control bar. The navigator to the left is for choosing the different editor windows. You can also access these windows by pressing the F2 to F8 shortcuts on your computer keyboard. The area to the right displays the currently selected editor. At the moment, we are in the browser mode. The keyboard is obviously for playing the sound with your mouse. In standalone mode, you can also play notes and even chords with your computer keyboard. You can hide the keyboard, as well as the entire editor window here, with these buttons on the application control bar. In the file menu, you can find the usual menu items, open, save, import, and options. Here is where you can globally enable the high resolution mode. The quick load menu gives you instant access to the sound library. Just click on it and select your sound or use the Load Next or Previous buttons and play a note. The sound library contains over 200 newly designed sounds featuring all functions of the synthesizer. Here are some examples. FM8 also comes with the sounds of FM7 and FM Sounds Volume 1 and Volume 2. You can find these sounds quickly with the Core Sound Browser. Here is the classic file tree view where you access your hard disk folders containing all FM7 and FM8 libraries. Click on Sounds to switch to the database view. On this page you will see five category columns. They contain the attributes which are used to tag, classify, and search for your sounds. 
All library sounds have been pre-configured and categorized for use within the browser. These are the same attributes used in Core. Therefore, all sounds are Core sounds and can immediately be used within Core. Let's look for a synthetic electric piano. Combine several attributes by clicking them in the category columns. Click on Piano Keys under Instrument. Choose Electric and Synthetic under Source. In the Timbre category, click on Bright. Under Articulation, we want a decaying sound. As you combine these attributes, your search becomes more and more focused. The number of search results displayed on the right decreases, but also becomes more and more precise. The new FM8 sound, Sun Trickles, looks promising, so we'll double-click it. You can now play the sound with your MIDI keyboard. Let's check out the brand new morphing feature. You can make gradual transitions between different sounds with the morph square. First of all, search for the sound you want to morph. How about a distorted synthetic guitar? As another example, we are going to drag and drop four different string sounds from the browser onto the morph square in the top header. Type strings into the search field. You now see a list of string sounds in the search results. We'll drag four of the sounds onto the four quadrants of the small morph square in the application control bar. Drag glass strings onto the first quadrant. High res bell string onto the second. Soft strings on the third one. And resonant strings onto the last one in the bottom right corner. Now switch to the easy morph window. You see the four sounds occupying the four corners of the morph square. Play a few notes while moving the morph handle with the mouse. You can hear the sound being morphed between the four different timbres. Morphing gives you a completely new level of creativity with all your FM8 sounds. Of course, you can assign the morph handle to MIDI controllers on an external MIDI device. Here are some other morphing examples. All of FM8's factory sounds already use morphing. On the Easy Edit page, you can find the Easy Edit macro controls that change the sound's parameters after the morphing has taken place, so it affects all four corners. You can quickly tweak your sounds using the parameters of the Easy Edit page. In most cases, the Easy Edit page is enough to customize a sound, you don't necessarily have to dive into the depths of FM synthesis. With the timbre controls, you can statically change various parameters, like the sound's brightness. On the other hand, the envelope amount determines how much the timbre envelope influences the sound dynamically. You can tweak your sound's global volume levels through time with the amplitude envelope. The LFO adds a little more movement to your sound. Play with the rate, vibrato, tremolo, and timbre controls to get the best sounding results.